back. Continuing to upgrade our Star Forge. Eating all these useless planets. Once I've consumed all of my own worthless planets, I'll bring the forge over here and then declare war. And we'll see how it goes. I imagine it'll be predictable. Just another reason why this game is way better with other people. Things are less predictable. Planet seven moons? Jesus. It's not showing any of them, though. are on the wrong damn planet. God dang. That's nasty. If only it wasn't a useless food planet. That would have been pretty sweet. 10k for the next upgrade. After that I might be able to do like one or two more upgrades. Then I'll just have to be consuming planets and nothing else, because I won't have the money to upgrade it much more. But whatevs. That's going to be what the cargo transport is for. Be able to suck up a whole planet's worth of ore per trip and bring it home. be able to upgrade it a few more times before I run out of money. Most of the pressure still isn't even active yet. It's taken forever. Thank you. 
Might as well use some more or hull designs. Oh yeah, I used all the extra hexes on this stuff. Uh, 63,000 supplies, not a whole lot for capturing a planet with. Let's reduce the support command a bit. fast that's going down. Oh yeah, I don't need these anymore. guys. So each of them can only hold a couple dudes. afford another upgrade.
Now my mill. Ooh, the Oko must have lost a fleet, or maybe one of the techs that ups my fleet power. Upped me enough. But now it's saying I have strong military ratings similar to the Oko. Those will be the last three bitty planets. And then back to the front lines. It's time to declare war. War. Ugh. What is it good for? Apparently quite a bit. Declare. The Hunan are their vassal, so I can't declare war on them, so I'll just have to declare war on the Oko. Hi, friend. Want to come fight me, Booch? Well, let's see where they start. The Hunan are going to come running. Might as well kill this mainframe just so they have to put another one in place. No gen device. That could be worth it. Might as well use it. One less planet to cannibalize. Ooh, uranium. Consume. Well, here comes a fleet. It's coming to defend this mainframe. But now that the mainframe's gone, it's gonna, yep, half its power. But even if it didn't, I am designed to murder Does he have deflectors? Oh, those disruptors. That's not friendly. But I don't have a whole lot of important stuff near my cores. And there he goes, pretty soon here. Boink. This guy's using... Oh, he's just got a lot of armor in front. He's got a lot of different designs. This is my weaker destroyer with only four veteran sea levels. Although after he kills this guy, he might get uh, his next level. I'm still good to go. Haven't lost any weapon systems yet. He's about to explode. Maybe if I get to this bridge. Man, this laser is getting close. But there we go. They're dead. And that's two of the Hunan's biggest fleets, I have no doubt. So time to conquer. How are these plants arranged? Cap it. Cap. 
Cap. Cap. This one can go over and cap. While the Star Forge gets brought down to have a meal. We'll spring it. I can move pretty quick through space, so I'll just bring it over here. And then he's just in here wasting ammo on all these support ships. Two fifty six is one of the bigger designs they had. What is this? Oh, that's a scout. That's oh, a Terrican scout, in fact. Anybody else incoming? Oh, that's a scout. Now might be a good time to go for the vacuum telescope. Now that I'm actually at war. That way I don't have to rely on them being in hyperspace when they come for me to see them. Although, you know, when would they ever come across the universe not in hyperspace? Yep, and all the supports despawned. So I'll just start capturing this planet. Star Forge over now. This guy's still repairing. Oh yeah. That's the sound of successful captures. doesn't like to help each other out very much is another kind of sad thing about their programming. So even though the Hunan are the vassal of the Yoko, the Yoko aren't going to bother sending any fleets to help defend the Hunan now that I'm taking all their crap. So I won't even... So unless the Oko suddenly ends its wars against everyone else, I'm not going to have to worry about them sending any fleets until I take one of their planets. Alrighty. We'll send all this out to the... ships that I destroyed initially. This one's only 23 million. Now all these planets are abandoned. The forge can feast.
still a freaking remnant over here too. What the hell. Alrighty, sorry for the cut, but we're back. <clears throat> Continuing the conquest. And I'll just build outpost in each of these places. Got 32,000 ore in there, so I'll build my <coughs> excuse me. Build my ore transport. Teleport pops off of here. Cargo transport's going. Finally expressing all of the pressure. Look at that sprawling mess. We've got a little pressure of just about everything. Might as well build a few mega cities for this place. Starting to take these. Or rather, I've gotten them now. Bring the forge down here. Move all these guys to the Neutronium. Oh. Huh. When did they even attack that? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, 
right now my homeworld's decaying in four and a half minutes. So I'll just go over there and take this back. transport with this guy at least I'll be able to queue up multiple orders once he's got some ore in him so I can't tell him to drop off or until he's got some. But once he does, I can tell him to drop it off, then pick it up, then drop it off, then pick it up. Five K or transfer. Pick up. Transfer. Pick up. So that'll do like four back and forth, or however many. There we go. Trying to annex one of my planets. as well speed things up a bit by using some annexes. That's coming for this. came over here for this, but by the time he was already in hyperspace, this thing was taken. So now he's going over here to defend these worlds that aren't taken yet.
system. I'll be keeping these until I get the forge over there. Okay, so these are all mine now. Do I already have a salt? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Salt is a useful food item because it provides one resource, or one pressure of every pressurable resource. Which is handy to give to a ring world just in case you aren't sure if you have every type of resource on a ring world since the ring world's power is to give extra pressure of every type that is imported to it might as well just go for broke and give it everything another gate further out here. Well, around a planet that's not going to stop existing soon.
bring these guys into the system to bait a response if there is going to be one at all. That way the strong fleets are what's fighting when the enemy fleets arrive instead of my weak dudes who don't really do much of anything except capture planets. Move these guys forward. Yep, there's the response. Oof, and he goes for the weak guys. Well, not really. But I am gonna move them the heck out of the way. Yeah. That's some nuts of power. 2.5 billion. Oh no, don't die, you fuck. Ah, oh, he died. Well, I'm gonna need to send these two guys over here to take care of that shite. These guys are gonna die soon. Yeah, I've done like no damage to this carrier. But it's keeping him distracted pretty good. No, they're sending a spy probe. Those bastards. Alright, time for my... my two destroyers to eat this guy's ass out from under him. Alright, his engines are all... almost all gone. Which means he's gonna have a really hard time turning to face me. But of course, these are the Oko. Their ships aren't gonna explode until the entire thing is totally dead. slowly being able to turn with his one chunk of engine core. But he's out of supply, so that means he's lost like 99% of his combat strength. My guys are still doing good on their supply. Losing a bit of health, but still shooting. So it'll take a while, but these will die. Ah, oh, I lost all but two of my capture dreadnoughts. Peace offer. 
I ain't offering, I ain't taking no peace offer from you. Not unless it's an unconditional surrender. Starforge. Oof. Spent two, even still, spent like two budget cycles worth on this guy. But he'll be even more of a beast monster than those guys are, even without veterancy. But he'll gain the veterancy as he destroys stuff, so. slow process of killing this monster of a ship. Oh, ah, dang it. With how long it took them to leave, I figured they didn't have a fling beacon in range, but apparently they did. Take these guys back into our territory to regroup and resupply. Play another annex system to speed things up a bit. So much intelligence. But now, oh, Velco actually did something now, so I can use leverage. Nilly don't want me to have it either. That's interesting. Star is not going to be able to take this construction project. Cannibalize these two. some stored labor in order to help speed that up a bit. See if anyone takes that bait. I doubt it. If 
that stored labor. Hopefully it sped up the construction enough that it won't destroy my star, but if this gets too low, I'm going to tell him to start leaving. Just barely, but it looks like we'll make it. Damn, that was a close call. Freak, man. Okay, moving down here. Eat them planets. Goodness. Yeah. Half a G of strength with no veterancy. That's pretty dang good. I can increase that with a name. Oh, I don't have any names. Well, flagship cards. He's got command computers, so that's his strength is going to be even stronger during the starting of a fight. Make a few more destroyers next round, next cycle when I can afford to do so. Oh yeah, it doubles his strength during the first few seconds of combat. Here they come again. Fully powered again. Move over here so that I can be behind where they come out of hyperspace. Sup, bitch? damage. Useful strategy for if you're trying to get out of a fight quickly is to fly straight through the enemy because then you don't have to wait to turn around and then once you're past them they do have to wait to turn around before they can chase you. Got some more research to spend. We'll draw them from there over here, waste some other FTL. Oh 
yes, I've got this system. But all three of these guys together should be able to easily overwhelm that ship. So I'll send them in and start murdering. Did I not send this salt up here? Did I? Hmm. Somehow I must have accidentally unsent it. goes the Oko ship, so I might as well kill this Hunan one. I'll leave these guys up here, actually, for the next time I fight the Oko. This guy needs to kill a few things to get a veteran sea level anyway. Where'd my transport go? There he is. Mm -hmm. 116, 245 already, good lord. So I think I will start transporting cargo between Homeworld and the Ring World. I'll let the ring world build the next ring world. Thanks to the power of gates can just instantaneously do this back and forth without any travel time. this battle going? It's already over. He's got half the experience he needs. Ah, oh, but they did take the iron. Damn, the Oko took that back. I did not even freaking notice before giving them some defense generation. Whoops.
Still don't have a name flagship. I would like one of those. Yeah, destroyers are great for killing stuff, but they're not good for capturing planets. Because you can't capture a, start capturing a planet until all of the supports are gone from, around, from its orbit. This light ring here. And destroyers are not very good at destroying supports. Because they're tiny and there's so many of them. It doesn't have the... It only has like five guns to shoot with. And if they're around the side of the planet, then usually the ship's not smart enough to move around and attack it. Or rather, the ship is not smart enough to do that. Because the ships aren't AI-controlled if they're yours. Alright, let's go in here. Generate some threat. Get the Oko to send their fleet in here, just in case they're thinking about sending it over here. Might as well get some eyes on. The Fae took one of the worlds that nobody had, nobody had given any thought to. Intriguing. Oh, well, here comes their ship. One of their ships. They've, they can support having quite a few of them. Alright. Oh yes. Gotta rebuild my capture force. I have two of them left. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I've got like two left. So the three capturing large numbers of planets at a time. Pretend like I'm capturing this, get them to send a ship or two. Yep, here comes this guy. We'll wait until he actually jumps and then hightail it out of there. Cause you can't cancel an FTL order after they've already jumped. Here comes this guy to take this back. Getting a lot of lag spikes now.
Ooh, this ship lost its guns, actually. So let's go back and regroup. And this is the situation where bombs, the way we use them, become overpowered because, you know, if I wanted to, I could build like two or three of my bomb design and then all three of these guys would have no supporting fleets anymore. They would just be the flagships alone and they would die immediately. So it's like, looks close, but it's not really close. Cooperation can just suck it. Heralds wanted it, so I can use them as a position. These guys recover. Alright, all good. This guy's taking a lot of hits. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more ships in order to drill through this dense swarm of fleet ships they have. In order to deal any real damage to the flagships. But well, I destroyed that Hunan flagship, so that's fine. Let's GTFO before we die. Suffered a pretty significant amount of damage. These big red stars have a lot more health, so I might go over here to build the next ship, since I'm out of stored labor by now. Oh, I still got 400, actually. But I can't afford another one of my main destroyer designs. beef up my economy in order to afford more ships. So with the multi-galaxy empire they have going on, it's going to be really difficult to do any significant lasting damage to the Oko at this point. But I can beef up my economy a little with one of these suckers. Uh, who's available? Send my 
cargo ship to go be my scout temporarily. civilian ship traveled through there on the way to Between Stars. That's funny. Yeah, just three, unfortunately. Do I have any spare Mark 1s? Yes, this guy can go somewhere. I have a spare Mark 2. That's it. Just one spare Mark 1. That'll be enough to get a Mark 2 up and running. Ooh, hyper volatiles. Increased defense pressure. Don't really need that. Although, I could level up this uranium generator. Planet. That would be useful. A level 5 world, if I can get enough stuff to do that, would definitely boost my economy. Uh, there's a gate in here. Sweet deal. Oh, yes, some of this. Who's got space for one of these? And I have a uranium planet that I haven't done anything with, apparently. Pressure filter... That textile plant's got room for some money. Well, that was a waste of a Annex system card. I didn't get to it in time to eat any of the planets, but... Oh well. There will always be future times. Uh, getting some of these I could use for... Ooh, the Hunan really want it because I've taken some of their crap. Ships going around. I could sabotage one of their open forums, but that would just up their influence generation. Okay, looks like I'll hopefully get it. Can see what kind of stuff I'll get for that. Well, yeah, I should do a sweep of my territory to see what new asteroids I've acquired. Some jewelry. All right. All righty, including the time from that cut, though. It's been about an hour, so I'll call this an episode and we can get continue our conquests next time. See you later.